In the previous videos, we built the inner part of our JSON document by nesting objects and arrays. Now, when we try to wrap this entire expression in a new array, we run into this error, not a single group group function. To fix this, we'll first remove the other array function and instead create a common table expression with our initial query. We'll then give you our complex JSON expression a clear alias. At this point, let's say the group by clause in the CTE, grouping by ID and name. To use JSON array AG function again. Let's look at a new problem. If we examine the array of Bright's orders, we can see they are not sorted by order ID. To solve this, we can use a feature of JSON array AG that allows for internal sorting. However, because we use a CTE, we need to make the order ID available as a separate column in the initial query. Now that order ID is available, we can simply add an order by order ID clause inside the JSON array AG function like this. And just like that, our sorting problem is solved. Next, we need to create a final other object in a hay. A quick reminder. If you are using a version before Oracle 19C, you must replace the column with the keyword value. Unlike in our initial query, the nist the array causes an error. We can now safely nist our function here because all our data is contained within the JSON structure. There is no extra relational columns to manage. Now, we are faced with another common issue, the error ORA 40478. This happened because our JSON output has exceeded the default 4000 characters limit for the JSON array AG. The solution is straightforward. We change the function's return type to a club. Inside the function parenthesis. Let's change it to return blob just so we can download the file and see the final result. And with that, we have completed this two part series on generating a JSON document directly from SQL query. In the next video, We'll learn how to read a JSON document using Oracle JSON function. See you then.